Howdy chaps, welcome to Tactics Ogre Reborn. It is out today. Thank you to Square for sending me a copy of this game. This is something I've been very excited for. It's a remaster of the PSP remake of the original Tactics Ogre, which is like the second game in the Ogre Battle series. We never got the original over here in Europe. Um, we did get the PSP version, but I sadly never got around to playing it. Now, I love tactical RPGs. You may you may be thinking, this sounds very similar to Final Fantasy Tactics. Even the music is, is like, yes, it is. It is the same creator, the same composer. And I love me some Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, we really need that released on modern consoles too. But this is out today. We're going to be having a, a little look at it. Um, this is not going to be a full playthrough. Although I might end up streaming this or doing a playthrough in the future, we'll see. But I'm so excited. I've wanted to check this out for so long. And uh, yeah, big thank you to Square for sending this over to me. So, new game, here we go. Tactics Ogre. Tactics Ogre. There's an age of war, the wheel begins to turn. Oh, and the artwork as well, my gosh, it's so good. And uh, Chosen Child, when were you born? Oh, okay. All right. But yeah, I love, I love Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm... I, I, I love tactical RPGs in general, but I'm absolutely awful at them. <laughs> I'm really, really bad. I've played a few like Disgaea and, and various others, but this this one has always piqued my interest, but I've never got around to it until now. So, um, I feel like I shouldn't put my real birthday, because that might be like doxing. So we're just, we're just going to come up with a, a random birthday. I'm going to be born on the 19th of August. Uh, of, of, well, storm scale, apparently. Here we go. Oh. In the final reckoning, who will prove false? Did I, did I make a bad choice? Oh god, I, I have no idea what these, what this governs. Uh, in the final reckoning, who will prove false? Oh gosh. Um, my king? I'd, I'd rather my king be false than my beloved or my dearest friend. I feel like that would hurt the least, so... There we go. Now, if that isn't a freaking chocobo, I don't know what is. Looks very similar. Hey, it looks like an eagle, actually. Is that... Okay. Uh, the world. Pure... Uh, past is prelude to now. What is good to you? An exemplar? A weapon? An illusion? Uh, she's very pretty, by the way. I think I'm going to go for a weapon. I have genuinely no idea what these choices are going to actually impact. Uh, in what thing do you stand above all others? The Empress. Uh, my beauty, my wealth, my wisdom. Well, I don't have the first two, and I'm not quite sure I have the last one either, so we'll go for wisdom. <laughs> The moon. Immortality, thy name is desire. In a fit of passion, you take your friend's lover. What will you do next? This feels like I'm taking the goat exam in Fallout 3. Uh, keep the lover for my own. Save the moment, put it from my mind. I mean, that's a that's a bit of a dick move, isn't it? I think I'm going to put it from my mind. I, I wouldn't want to do that. The chariots. Means and ends. How do you define victory? Murdering everyone. Um, vanquishing my foes. Ending the conflict. Both of those are kind of the same. Uh, preserving my eyes. I mean, no, they're not the same. Uh, I mean, we all know which one is the most, like, goody-goody choice. But I'm going to go for the neutral option here. Uh, ending the conflict. I don't care if my allies survive, apparently. Whose blessing do you seek? This, again, this artwork is absolutely blooming stunning. And uh, yeah, Sa Sakamoto. Um, Hitoshi Sakamoto, I, I believe, is the composer. Might not be the only composer for this, but um, obviously he's done Final Fantasy XII, Tactics. Big, uh, big fan of this music. Uh, ha Hanella, Goddess of Air. Okay, so we just got different elements. I mean, it's probably, it's probably gonna be, uh, fire. 
It's gonna be fire. Z Zos Zoshanel? I'm probably saying that wrong. I always go, I always like, you know, I think of Pokemon. I like fire types and psychic types, but since there's no psychic type here, then again, the light, you look pretty cool, and you've got a, you've got a horsey. You've got a little dragon wyvern thing. You've got nothing. You get dirt. You get nothing. Actually, you, you look, oh wow, okay. Any, any furries in the chat? Um... I'm gonna go for the fire one. I will take this goddess as your patroness. Yes. Which path will you walk? The curtain rises. Oh, I'm very, very excited. I'm so excited. I, I do, I love these kinds of games. Not enough of them come along, you know, for my liking. We really do need a Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, War of the Lions remaster. Ogre Battle Saga Episode 7. Let us cling together, yes. That was the uh, subtitle of the, the remake. Oh, this is so, yeah. This is nostalgic to me and I've never played this game before. You ride that horse, sir. So I believe this is going to be fully voiced as well. I, I'm not sure if the original was. I'm guessing it probably wasn't, because I think the original was actually on, like, the uh, Famicom. Or Super Famicom. And then it was ported to, like, a million systems. Like PlayStation, I think the Sega Saturn. Darren DePaul! Oh, he, he voiced uh, Arden in Final Fantasy XV. Very well, I might add. Oh, that town's on fire. And that is a very evil looking horse. Did, you, did that, he had a high, an eye patch or she had an eye patch? Oh dear. We think some bad things are happening to these poor folk. Gideon Emery, he's freaking, uh... Isn't he Balthea? I feel like there's some, gonna be some pretty good voice talent in this. Chapter 1, there is blood on my hands. How long till it lies on my heart? That's very ominous. It's as we heard, Denim. Lancelot's returned. Vice, okay. So yeah, it's fully voiced, it seems, or at least this bit is voiced, and immediately I can... Yeah, this art style. This is Final Fantasy Tactics, god damn it. Um, and I shouldn't be saying that, because this came first. This came first. Then it's time. Right, sister? Time to end this madness. We can't beat him, you know that. What are you saying, Kasua? You'd have us pass up a chance like this? It's foolishness to think the three of us might defeat the Dark Knights. Oh, there's Dark Knights in this. I love Dark Knights. So edgy. They're the ones who have been foolish, and we stand to gain. Don't tell me you're scared. If you've lost your taste for blood, I'll do this myself. <sighs> That's enough, Vice. Let's go. Oh, I should point out, this is the PS5 version that I'm playing. It is on Switch, Steam. This won't end well. And what do we gain by taking their lives anyway? Lancelot is captain of the Dark Knights, and they are the source of Barkram power. Kill Lancelot, and you remove one of the pillars supporting them. The Barkram will falter, if only for a moment. Okay, so just like Final Fantasy Tactics, there's a lot of, like... Just throwing character names at us, organizations. There's going to be a lot of world building, I'm guessing. Yet that moment will be all the encouragement the Galgastani require. They want Valeria for their own. The turmoil of the last war has only just settled. And you'd start another. Are we Wallister so free of turmoil now, Kashua? 
Are we Wallister so free of turmoil now? I, I guess, is Wallister, is that your, your last name? We are less than vermin in their eyes. Insects to be crushed underfoot. If war begins anew, we'll die just the same. Shh, they're here. We'll flank them. Denim, go round behind. Right. Now, just a, just a little note here. I've always, well, up until fairly recently, I thought flanking meant getting to their behind, which I guess flanking is like, you flanks are the sides, but you obviously have to go around the side to get to the rear, but flanking is technically going around the side. So that's just something I've, I've always kind of misunderstood. The flank is not the rear. Oh boy. Oh, objective vanquish Lancelot. We are, we are in a fight to battle. Okay, and I gotta say this is really pretty. This is really really pretty. Yeah, it looks like there's like um a little bit of a filter over it to smoothen out some of the sprites, which I don't mind. I think some people might prefer a more rougher look. I don't know if there are graphic options in this. Once battle begins, units with the lowest recovery time (RT) move first. The order in which units move is called attack turn. You can issue commands such as move and act on a unit's attack turn. Yeah, so I'm going to assume this is going to play very similarly to uh, FF Tactics, and I should probably have an FF Tactics counter at this point, because I've mentioned it so bloody much. To issue command, place the cursor on active move. Yeah, okay, I think I should be able to get to grips with this. You cannot issue commands on your units during the attack turn of enemies or other units not under your control. However, you can press triangle to interrupt, enabling you to examine units and perform similar tasks. Okay. Alright, so we are controlling Denim. He is level 1. Uh, probably super weak. And we can move. We can attack. Only usable one attack per turn. Or we could end our turn and just be like, no, I don't, f I don't feel like doing anything. So, let's move. And we have our movement range here. Um, I think you should probably, yeah, try and get behind him. So you head up top. Obviously, we can't really do anything right here. So we'll just end our turn. Um, if I press triangle... In a minute... Ah, yes! We get to choose which way we face, which is usually very important because you'll take more or less damage depending on if you're facing an attack or if, you know, they're striking you from behind. Oh, you're you're going at it on your own, are you? Friends of the Resistance, and no friends of yours. The Resistance? I expected a warmer welcome than this. <laughs> They're children. Winged. You have amazing hair. Wait. Do you even know who we are? You're Lancelot, and that makes you my enemy. Uh, Lancelot is my name. True. How is it that you know me? How could I forget you? The Dark Knights laid torch to this town only a winter past. The Dark Knights? But we come from the kingdom of New Zenobia to the east. New Zenobia? Wow. And Lancelot of the Dark Knights has but one eye. You have two. Oh, we got the wrong guy. One eye, you say? Would that he lacked my name as well. His reputation, it seems, does me no favors. No marauding knights us, but mercenaries come looking for work. Oh, so you actually good guys. I am Lancelot Hamilton, a holy knight of Zenobia. And I am Canopus, the one they name Windcaller. Our aged companion here is... The Starseer, Warren Oman, at your service. Wizened mage. <laughs> That's something I'm not. Look at that beard. Mirden Warhorn, a knight of Zenobia, as it please you. Oh, you're very posh. Gildis is my name. There now, no need to be frightened. Bearded knight, you look like a badass. I wasn't. I, I don't... I don't know what to say. So, I guess we're not gonna have a fight then. Forgive us, good knights. But, perhaps this meeting might benefit us both. We have need of strength such as yours. Ah, tell us your tale then. We are strangers in this land, and I would hear more of it. 
Weiss is my name. It would seem that you are not our enemy. I am the Sybil Kashua, and this is my brother, Denon. How did he get over here so quick, by the way? <laughs> oh, we get a choice. Stay on your guard, sister. We must. You must forgive our error. Um, I'd say it's still probably a good idea to stay on your guard. These are mercenaries. They they may have lo well loyalties to themselves, but they could be working for anyone. So let's just. Uh, I mean, they said they were looking for work, but who knows? Do not be so quick to trust, sister. We know nothing of these men save their name. Exactly. Better to be safe than sorry. You are mistrustful for one so young. Let's leave your children to play amongst themselves, Lancelot. We mean you no harm. Is the benefit of the doubt too much to ask? Uh, well, I I guess. I guess we could, yeah. Well, all right, you seem you seem nice enough. Where are your manners, Denham? Apologize at once. <laughs> I guess I made a bad choice. I Ooh. swear on my blade, on my honor as a knight, I will be no enemy of yours. Uh, ellipses. No, I'll take you. I'll take you at your word. A good oath. Forgive our mistrust, Lord Knight. Already forgotten. Though you did give us quite the surprise. Now, do you think we might talk somewhere out of this wretched heat? We have just the place. It's not much, but it's secret, and it's safe. So not only have we only known them like two minutes, we're taking them back to our secret hideout already. Great start, guys. This can this can not turn bad in any way. As it is, we lack swords enough to face the Galgastani. The Bakram share our deficit, a deficit they've remedied by joining forces with Lodus. So Lotus sent them the Dark Knight's Los Lorian. Los Lorian is an order under the direct command of High Priest Sardian, ruler of Lotus. They are said to be the greatest of the 16 orders and the High Priest's favorite besides. The 16 orders? That's a lot of orders. Yet he uses them not in open battle, but in shadows and secrecy. They are his ears and his dagger. They are as dark as their name. And these dark knights, whatever you call them, are backing the Bakram, eh? Is that Gideon? Is that, is that Balthier? That sounds a lot like him. So, why are you come to our isles? Does Zenobia think to claim Valeria as her own? Do Lotus and Zenobia mean to bring their wars to our shores? Enough vice. Your question deserves an answer. We are Zenobian, after all. Yet we do not serve as knights of Zenobia. We were banished, cast out. We're outlaws, no place waiting for us back home. Nah. We've come to find work, preferably of the well-paying variety. I don't trust you, and I don't trust your story. This is our fight. Vice, please. Oh, Lord I Knight. Oh. You must forgive our passion. I thought I'd skip some dialogue then. There is nothing to forgive. Tell me, what will you do now? For one, we have to get Duke Ronway out of Almorica. We have to get Duke Ronway out of Almorica. Again, a lot of, lot of names and places here that I have no idea. Any, I, have nothing, I have no clue what you're talking about. Duke Ronway. He is your leader. Ah. Not just us. He leads all the Wallister. The Galgastani hold him captive in their castle. Oh, okay. They plan to execute him, if the rumors are to be believed. And we mean to stop them. So we've got a rescue mission on our hands, have we? A duke? But if his purse matches his title, a little rescue work might be just the thing. Yeah, because I don't... about it, Lancelot? Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have enough money to pay you guys, so I'm hoping if you do rescue the duke that he has some cash. Look, I'm sorry for not trusting you. It's true that if we're to rescue the Duke, we're going to need help. Then there's nothing to be gained jabbering on here, eh? To Almorica Castle. Nah, <laughs> he says that a lot. To Almorica Castle, all right. Wait, the castle is well defended. I can't wait to get into an actual fight. A fight there would mean our deaths. 
and yours, Lord Knight. And I... I've seen enough of fighting. Enough of death. What about you, Denim? Would you have our aid? Does, is, does Denim wear, like, jeans a lot? That's a terrible joke, I'm sorry. I would. Without your help, the Duke is as good as dead. Ah, then it's settled. We will prepare at once. Yes, please. I live for combat. Why do you not heed me, brother? I know how you must feel. But what of my feelings? I don't want to lose you. It's okay. I'll just reload if I die. Our father is dead. A hard truth. But a truth all the same. In all the world. You are the only one bound to me by blood. I couldn't bear to let you die. Forgive me. I... I know my words will not sway you. Only promise me. Promise you'll never leave your sister. Oh boy. I, I, I sure hope nothing nasty happens to her. What's keeping you? Everyone's ready. You can't coddle him forever. He's no little boy anymore. Do not speak to me of my brother. He does not share your lust for blood. I do, Vice. Don't worry, mate. I do. I have no love for war, but I'd sooner die on my feet than on my knees. You would die on the backs of others. You were the one who brought them in here, Kashua. Guessing these two don't get along. Because when I find a tool well suited for a job, I use it. At least one of us has the sense to recognize an opportunity. You should thank me. <laughs> Is that how you see people? As tools? I'd have expected more of a Sybil. Now, come on, let's be Sybil here. <laughs> Sorry. I only want to see an end of death. Uh, if this is the first time you're experiencing my channel, I am so sorry. I only want to see the... Yep, yeah, okay. Lancelot and his allies have joined you as guests. Alright, we're on the world map. Day one of God's scale. Apparently, campaign zero days. War funds... The currency is goth. Okay, union level three. No idea what that means. Uh, select party's command to manage your unit's equipment or change classes. Oh yeah, there's jobs and stuff in this. Oh man. Okay. We are in Goliath right now. And we get a little bit of a recap, I suppose, of events. Uh, at the top, which is pretty good. Looks like we're going to be heading to Almorica Castle next. Right, let's... Um, so we can save options. I haven't really checked this yet. Uh, oh, so you can turn voices on or off. Okay, cool. Mouse over volume. Set the volume of the sound played while mousing over. Okay. Never heard that term before. Uh, data. Save. Okay. What was the uh, party? Oh, okay. Pressing the touchpad, we get a little bit of a description. Okay. Uh, that's basically the help button then. This is a cool looking world map. I do love me a good world map, you know. It's very, very pretty. Look at look at this. That's some nice artwork. Right, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Um... Ah, here we go. Right, so, party. Denim, Vice, Katia... Lancelot's level 3. In fact, they're all level 3. Okay. And it looks like, yeah, every, everyone's got their own particular element. Uh, I'm the same as... Ah, I wonder if it's... Hmm. Because I picked fire, does that mean my sister is fire as well? Or is she just always fire? I don't know. Anyway, so that's our team. Uh, you can change ID numbers? Ah, equipment screen, right. So I feel like this game is going to be very in-depth. Now, we're not going to even barely scratch the surface in this video, but it's it's just the first look. 
And condition. Parry items. Mind leaf. Heal 75. Oh, uh, mind leaf. Mend leaf. Okay. So I can equip items. Spells. Don't think Denim has any right now. Skills. We have. Swords. Oh, different weapon disciplines. Okay. Two handed swords. I love me some two handed swords. Cudgels. Whips. Bows. Crossbows. Hammers. Axes. Alright. Good, good, good. So, yeah, I, I assume that the game will give you a tutorial on all this stuff. I'm not going to mess around with it at the moment. Uh, we have our equipment, linen slops, leather gloves. Short sword. Various stats, yep. Yep. This looks pretty, uh, pretty in-depth. Arcana. Oh, that's our spells, yep. Okay, skills, yep. Finish it. Finishing moves. I don't have any finishing moves yet. Sadly. And inventory. Okay, so we do have some spells, but it, I think that's probably going to be on someone else. Yes, she has... Yeah, so she's the white mage. Also, she can do some damage against undead by the looks of things. And since you guys are guests, I'm going to assume... Don't have to worry about me. I can hold my own. Yeah, we can't do... Uh, change anything with them. That's fair enough. Okay. He's a paladin too. I love paladins. She's a priest, vice is a warrior, and I'm a warrior. Uh, even even has what clan we're in, the Wallister clan. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, again, there's not much I can do right now, so we'll leave that as it is. And we will head to the castle. Strongholds are made up of multiple battlefields, which, uh, which must be fought back to back. You can save your progress before beginning the next battle. However, you cannot leave the stronghold until the series of battles is completed. It's highly recommended to use a separate save slot. Alright, okay. Let's do that right now then. Let's make a save. Oh, lovely, lovely artwork in the background there. That is gorgeous. Okay, here we go. First battle. Are you the rebels what been hiding out in Goliad? Here to save your duke, is it? Okay, I <laughs> Bapple, I love your accent. There's two thousand goth on that one's head, boys. Half the purse to him what brings him down. Freaking Viking dude. Oh, and our objective is just to kill him. All right. So, how do we do this? A narrow stream, scarce one pace across. Easily jump this. Watch. Wow. But, look before, nah. You can only jump to ground of the same height or lower. That makes sense. One of the winged, like me, Moves with no heed of height or terrain. Oh. Oh yeah, because you have wings. Even so, rushing in alone without someone to watch your back is asking for an early grain. I thought they were just for show. They actually work. They actually function. Always keep a close watch on the action to see who will move next. Avoid unnecessary actions and keep speed on your side. Right. The distance a unit moves, and the actions it takes, determine how long it must wait to move again. Okay, okay, so it might be wiser to let them come to us. The order in which units act is called the attack turn. Keep a close eye on this. You can sort units by order of attack turn, to quickly tell which unit will move next. When a unit's turn comes round, you can command it to move, act, or use skills. What's more, you can issue these commands in any order you see fit. Think on your choice as well. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, usually I'm not the biggest fan of, like, really heavy tutorial stuff, but for a game like this, you need it, don't you? You really do need it. The command to move can be cancelled at any time. If you find a unit out of range for a planned attack, 
Try moving it to a different location. Oh. Units begin battle with no MP, that being the font of all magical power. Oh, we start with no MP and then we have to what, like build it up? Units accumulate MP gradually over time. I see. Powerful magic requires greater amounts of MP. So think ahead before casting a spell. Okay, that is definitely a difference from FF Tactics. Uh, and yeah, it looks like if I click L3... Yeah, we can just speed things up. That's really nice. I love it when they, they do that with older games. I'm not sure if that was a feature in, in the PSP version, but um, it is lovely. Condition. All right, so we can just check our stats whenever we want. Um, all right, Denim, what do I want you to do? So after you, there's going to be like three enemies. Uh, I can't really get close enough to them yet to do anything, so let's just move... Let's keep up with everyone else. And end turn. Oh! Did I just find it? I found a magic leaf. This music is intense. Oh, okay. Skills are divided into four broad categories. Action, support, auto, and special. Right, so he I think he just, like, meditated to get some MP. Uh... Units learn skills as they gain levels, according to their class. That just now was meditate, an auto skill. An auto skill? Oh, so you didn't actually have to manually do that? Auto skills will sometimes take effect before your turn comes around. Ah. Use this to your advantage. Is there any way of predicting when they'll happen, or is it kind of random? Spark Sphere. Oh, that hurt. He didn't like that, did he? And then he runs away! A conjurer of magics must do more than learn a spell to wield it in battle. You must assign each spell before you enter the fray. Yep, I've kind of just had a look at that. That's fine. Assign spells to your units from the party screen. Be sure that you don't forget. You'll need a class mark in order to change a unit's class. Some class marks can be found for sale in shops, but not all are to be had so easily. I can't wait to see what jobs there are in this. What classes, sorry. Ah. Oh. A unit's level doesn't change when they change classes, so if one class isn't working out, a new line of work may be in order. Unit's level doesn't change when they change classes. Okay, so... Characters' levels are separate from... class levels. There's no reason to go making things harder on yourself than they already are. To use common consumables, such as Mendleaf in battle, you'll have to prepare before you're on the field. Yeah, make sure... Well, I did equip one, so... Up to four may be ready. Best choose them with your unit's needs in mind. Oh, he counted, but we blocked. Take heed of the enemy's element before striking. There are eight in all. Air, earth, lightning, water, fire, ice, light, and darkness. Now, could I have picked a light or darkness goddess at the beginning? I can't remember. I don't remember seeing a darkness one, because I probably would have picked that. Because <laughs> I'm edgy. Each element has its strength. Air against earth, and so on. It can be enough to give you the edge you need. Ah, right, okay. Yep, I mean, I was assuming that would be the case, but good to, good to know. Each unit has a level, but so does your party. Your party's level will rise as you lead them to victory in the stages to come. And remember, a unit can't advance beyond the level of the party. Oh, interesting. I'm really glad that the, this this tutorial exists. It is, especially because it's voiced as well, I don't ha I can just sit here and learn with you chaps. Makes my job a whole lot easier. <laughs> One 
whisper of Ronway's execution, and out you come, bold as you please. A rat can smell a trap, but not all rebels, huh? High time we were rid of your lot. Support skills are just that. Skills that provide some passive benefit to the user. When I move, you'll notice yellow points of light near me on the ground. And what are those? Oh, yeah. This is a support skill called Rampart Aura. Oh, does that mean you'll just block more? Any foes entering the range of the aura will be unable to move further until their next turn. Oh, that's... that's pretty cool. Some support skills hinder the enemy's movement, while others might grant enhanced strength. When can I learn that? Consider well your class and lay of the battlefield when choosing which to use. Oh, we got archers. Ooh. Okay, it didn't do much damage, thankfully. Dead shot. Oh, I think we've just been inflicted with a debuff there. Right, so we're only controlling denim, which keeps things simple at first. I like that. Um, I'm not going to be able to do anything, though, am I? And also, it looks like different terrain, yeah, will change how effective our attacks are. So there's going to be a lot to take into account here. Let's just move... Let's move you there. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. Cast stone. Oh, I can throw stones! Also, buckler. I'm guessing that just defends. Short sword attacks. Um, there's, there's, no, there's no enemy in range for a melee, but yeah, let's throw let's throw a stone. It's gonna do okay one point of damage, an 88% chance of hitting. I'm guessing that means okay. Um, so really, this is completely like not a good thing to do, but it's better than nothing. So let's do it. Oh, he's out of range. Oh, it has to be a certain distance away. Okay, we'll throw a stone at you then. Uh, Petrol... Petrol... Uh, oh my god, I can't speak. Petronilla? Have a stone. One damage. I'm helping. Vice getting stuck in there. Right into it. I wouldn't really say this is much of a trap. I reckon we got this. Trap or no, we fight or we die. I've never let a Galgastani get the better of me, and I don't mean to start today. Focus, Vice. Our first duty is to save the Duke. Don't lecture me on duty. Your only duty is to stay alive. You should not speak to Denim so. He was only trying to help. I threw a stone and everything. Oh, nice. Excellent. The counter, but he blocked it. Uh-oh. Vice is in for a bad time. Uh-oh. Oh, they parried it. We, we haven't got a single counter off yet, have we? Oh, nice. I might be able to finish that guy off next Wait. turn. You're no Wallisters. I know a man from Lotus when I see one. I love this guy. Can we keep him? He's just a mercenary too. We just pay him more than the other guys. Oh, I wanted that kill. You kill stealing kill stealer. Also, I'm guessing those bags, if we move over them, we'll pick up whatever items are in them. Maybe some gear, maybe some... Uh, healing items or something. No idea. Dead shot. Ooh, Vice is in a bad. In a, he's in a bad way. Someone needs to heal Vice. And you get some MP back. Uh, oh, that isn't voiced. Okay, come now to my hands, O oh crimson flame piercing the sky. A red comet, you are herald of doom. Are you about to summon something? Oh no, you're just casting a spell. Right. Can I actually get a kill in? 
Um, I mean, she's facing away from me. She's got 116 health. Let's uh, let's move there. Um, and what if I wanted to? Ba okay, so I can just press back or press circle and go back to this. Okay, good, good, good. Let's give you a nice old back shank. Now we're only going to do 64 damage though, but 100% chance to hit. She has the, the same element as me as well, so I'm guessing maybe we would do more damage if we were, if she was ice or something. Are you all right, Denon? I'm all right. I just swung my sword once. It's fine. You shouldn't let Vice get to you. I'm fine, sister. Back to the battle. Speaking of Vice, someone really needs to heal him. Yes, good idea. There you go. The sound of the arrows. <laughs> Good doing. And she's down. It's funny, our objective is to kill the mercenary dude, but all the other mercenaries are just going for all the other guys. All vice. Sorry, then. I'm out. And I'd better not hear any grumbling. The vice, you died. I knew I oh, Shift stone. I read that as shit stone then. <laughs> Where's he gone? Oh no, the guy picked up some leather gloves, linen slops, and copper obrith. Times 12. So, can you. I mean, I'm guessing you must be able to revive fallen party members in this at some point. Vice, Vice hit the dirt, and then he was just like, "Yep, see you later. I'm out. Bye." I don't really think there's much I could do there, really. That was the. Beautiful, beautiful. Bit of mage on mage action there. Healing herself, probably a good idea. And getting the heck away. Right, um, let's pick up this item. Then again. Yeah, I don't I think we're gonna die if we take him on, on our own, so let's just pick that up. Um I guess I I guess I picked that stuff up. We'll probably get it at the end of the battle, so let's um just end our turn. I could throw a stone at him, but it's not going to do anything. It's probably just going to make him mad. Oh, here we go. Ah! We got a Dynast King's Mead times three. Alright, now. Now the head honcho. Or not. Bronze Helm. Oof. That sounded painful. <laughs> Xeno wine? I see, it. he's nearly done. He's nearly done. I don't think I'm going to be able to really help out there, though. Uh, sadly, so. I'll just move here. Throw a stone. Oh, he's too. No, he's too. Right, too close. Hang on. Can I just do it from here? I can. There we go. I'm helping. And I think that's him. Yep. What a, what a way to finish him. It looks like our luck has turned. Fireball up the arse. Now give me your goodies. Although, I wonder if, um... Okay, it looks like we did get some... Maybe we got some stuff from him. Do you just automatically get all the items at the end of battle that are on the ground? Because maybe the reason you would want to pick them up during battle is to avoid the enemy getting them, perhaps? 
Got some blessings out oh, the cheer, the cheer. Ooh, we got Vulcan Lance. Alright, the end of our first battle. Obviously heavily tutorialized, uh, if that's the word. Ooh, nearly level three. Uh but yeah, since our unit level is three, they can't advance any higher. That's okay, that makes sense. Experience points are not awarded to individual units, but to the entire party. Each unit has but okay, so that's that's definitely different from uh from Final Fantasy Tactics. Only units who survive battle receive experience points. Okay, sorry Vice, you're crap out of luck, buddy. Maybe don't be so rubbish next time. The way inside is clear. Stay on guard. Leave the heavy lifting to us, Denim. Cover our flank. That's all we ask. Alright, there we go. So, on to the next one. I'll mark a passageway. Now, I don't... Yeah, for, for these first look videos, I don't want to play too much, because it really is just to kind of get a, a little, little glimpse at the game. So far, hugely positive. This is going to be so much fun, I can already tell. I reckon I probably will stream this at some point, uh, or maybe do a playthrough in the future, but for now, this is where we're going to end it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, let me know if you're interested in checking this out. Like I said, big thank you to Square for sending me a copy, but it is available today um, on Steam, Switch, PS4, PS5. I'm not sure if it's on anything else, but details will be in the description, so please check that out. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this, I do all sorts of Let's Plays. Um, I don't expect any level of quality, but you never know, you might enjoy some of them, so maybe subscribe if you want. Like the video, and uh, yeah, thank just thanks for watching. I really did enjoy this, and I reckon it's going to be a good one, so take care everyone. I will see you in whatever you watch next. Bye-bye for now.